rule number one of Castaway Key is everything that happens on Castaway Key stays, stays on, on Castaway, Castaway Key. Key. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just woke up. I slept so good. So it was one of those nights at sea where it's just kind of rolling a little bit. So it's like just enough. And it was so quiet. Deck nine on this ship is particularly good for quiet because you don't have anything for two decks above. So it's really good, but I'm going to show you. I just got room service and I filled out the little, this thing last night and I said it was only for one. They gave it to me for two. So I have lots of room service. I may have to call Adam and have him come and help me with this, but yeah, hold on. So I got coffee, juice, milk for my coffee, some fresh fruit. Oh, I love that they have kiwis in there. That's really fun. And then I also got some croissant. So yeah, there we go. Comes on the nice little tray. I'm probably gonna go eat it out there. And then I'm gonna go for a walk out on deck and that's time for the rainforest room. So, you know, we're off to a good start today. So Adam's going to come get me and we're going to go get um, second breakfast. So that's fine. <laughs> you know, being a hobbit is a noble thing and hobbits always have second breakfast. So I feel like that's okay. To be fair, I only had a croissant and coffee and some fruit and also I'm on a cruise. So who cares? I want to show you guys this little dress that I'm wearing because I love it so much and it is from Amazon. I want to say it was $20 and it has actually worn incredibly well. I've been kind of stunned. I've taken it now on like four cruises and it's so comfy. So hold on. I think I showed it in one packing video a million years ago, but it's got this like crisscross top. What do you call that? Like a surplus, I think. And it's long, um, but it's perfect for a sea day. But you could also like wear this out in the evening really easily. And it just feels like flowy and so comfortable. Oh my gosh, I just love it. So yeah, and I have my bag all ready to go, packed up for the rainforest because as soon as we are done with breakfast, I am headed to the rainforest. Good morning. <laughs> We, it actually is morning. You know, I get slightly annoyed when you say that and it's not actually morning. It just feels, you know. File a, file a complaint with HR and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll forward it up, okay? <laughs> we are going to breakfast. As I told you all, this is my second breakfast because I already had room service. But I don't think fruit and a croissant and coffee is really breakfast, right? <laughs> I'll answer that. Don't, no. listen my, don't listen to my sister Flo. <laughs> She's nuts. <laughs> We were just mentioning people were getting on for excursions and stuff. They were going to World of Marvel. I'm like, why is anyone getting off the ship? And Adam was like, Jen, people actually do that. <laughs> but I was explaining to my blog, this is like having a day at sea, but it's quiet. Yeah. Because we're always going to get off at Castaway Key because that right. is such a you know amazing experience. Right. You should always get off at Castaway Key. Right. Um, but the actual day at sea, everybody's on the ship. Yeah. So it's busy. It's better. I mean, and we could be wrong. There's always the chance that there's a whole bunch of people that are staying on the ship today, but based on the um, show last night, the number of people that said it was their very first cruise, I was like, I don't think it's gonna be busy on the ship today. Agreed. So, yay! I'm only gonna show you me and him because it's, you know, the spa area, but. Hmm, this is good. This is good. No, I'm not supposed to tell people. It's terrible. It's Don't terrible. <laughs> but it is uh, because it's Nassau Day. It's really nice. Sometimes this place can get really crowded. So it's just very zen. And he, wasn't he telling, she was telling us yesterday you can go get a drink and bring it in? Like if yeah, you said, want a beverage. You've got it before you come in. Yeah. You, you can, can bring it in to here. You can't have it in there, but you can bring it. You can bring it out here. So it is kind of like a private sun deck. So yeah. Anyway. If you're doing concierge though, don't do this. That's what my friend here and I know. You don't need both. Right. One or the other. That's what I think too. Because the concierge has its own pool deck. But if if you if you if that's a little bit too high of a price to pay, 
this gives you also a little bit of a private pool deck with the hot tub. So Thank you, please. Is the captain yeah. speaking from the bridge? We can now. So, if you want to know what I look like when I'm completely relaxed and just back from the rainforest room, it's this. Um, there is a swimsuit dryer in the rainforest room. Did not know this. It is like hidden around a corner, but one of my viewers and patrons, Marina, had mentioned that she thought there was one. I did not think there was one. I was wrong. So if you are a person who wants to give a little bit of a boost, it's not going to dry your swimsuit completely, but it will dry it enough that you can then hang it up in your room and finish the job. But we were in there two hours. Is that right? Maybe an hour and a half. Oh my gosh, amazing. And there was hardly anybody there. So the Wish is the only one that has that outdoor area for the rainforest room. So it really is like you're paying for a little private pool deck. Mm, just lovely. Anyway, my room is all made up, which is one of the <laughs> beautiful parts of sailing Disney Cruise Line as they come and take care of everything for you. So Adam and I are gonna actually go to Marceline Market for lunch because I had two breakfasts now lunch, and then we are going off to um, dinner. So dinner tonight is 1923. Oh, and I convinced Adam to do um, bingo. He's never done it before. I don't know that he's, surely he's played bingo somewhere, but he's never played it on a Disney cruise ship. So B11, B, B11, if you know, you know. In order to win that bingo cash, the last number that I call must appear on the winning card and in the winning pattern. First game of bingo! wonderful, wonderful day. And it's not over yet because I'm getting ready to go to dinner. Um, let me show you all of my wonderful Tiana and friends behind me. Um, our friends Suzette and Brian went to bingo with us and then we decided to go to the Cove Cafe to get a drink. And um, guess what? They were doing the DVC uh, social that was like not a formal event. So we just hung out got free drinks. It was wonderful. Got to chat with the DVC people and then ended up staying there for like two hours. So I am skipping the Little Mermaid show, even though I really do love it. Um, but I've seen it now twice and we just were talking and having such good conversation that we all made a choice and that's okay because you get to choose what you do. So now we're off to 1923 for dinner and I'll show you what I'm wearing. 
So it's my dress sandals. This dress, I don't know if you can, if it's reading on camera, but it has a little like Greek key pattern to it. It is from Jay McLaughlin from so many years ago and their stuff is not inexpensive. I will try to see if I can find a dress similar to this, but they last and last and last. On a price per wear basis, this dress has already made its money back many times over. Um, and then I'm taking the sweet bag that you know I'm so excited about wearing the shoulder strap with it tonight. And yeah, we're all going to 1923. Let's do it. So I'm heading out to the shops a little bit before the show lets out. So hopefully it won't be too madhousey in there. Um, but I did want to look in like where the bags are and things like that, just cause you never know. I love where we got sat. That's so pretty. We're in 1923, you guys. I'm trying to show you. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Make it blue. Make it blue. This looks awful. That's on you, I love this restaurant. I love the interiors. I love, 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 love all of the. Look at that. Oh, I love it. So fun. And the food here is always really good too. Oh yeah, we had breakfast here. I didn't show them. We also had breakfast here. So I'm back in the room and this is our towel animal. And I think it's a little bear. Does it look like a bear to you guys? I think that's what it is. And it's very, very cute. And I love him and it makes me miss my doggies. And there's my animal friends and I'm so tired. So I'm gonna end this the way that I ended last night's. <laughs> I'm gonna get in this beautiful bed and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Castaway Key, so I'm really excited about that. Oh, dinner was amazing, by the way. So there you go, good night. Well, today's breakfast is a croissant and a yogurt and a coffee and the ocean. We're just pulling into Castaway Key now. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So I showed you guys this the first day, but my fruit is still in there. I'll probably have that this afternoon. That was from yesterday's room service. And I'm going to grab one of these cold bottles and load it in my water bottle. And then I'm going to take another bottle. So yeah, that should be sufficient, I think. All right. So I am officially Castaway Key Barbie. I have a sun hat my key to the world card, and my driver's license. There's always a little bit of discussion about whether or not you need your driver's license. No one's ever asked for my driver's license, but anytime I go ashore, I always take it just in case. I have this O'Neill beach cover-up, my no longer do they make athletic shorts, which we've talked about, my Havianas. I am all sunscreened up. I have um, my Aloha collection bag, and I'm gonna show you, um, I packed it up already and I filmed that, so I'll show you now everything that's in there. It might rain today. Adam just texted me, we should bring rain gear. I'm like, I'm already in my bathing suit, my bag is waterproof, and also I don't have any rain gear. So <laughs> if we get soaking wet, we get soaking wet. At least that's how I feel. Um, so yeah, we're just ready to go and have a fun, good day. Okay. I'm showing you guys everything that's going in my bag. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this like this. I think because I don't remember what magazine it was that did a feature like this a million years ago and I always loved it laid out like this. So I'm just being kind of a weirdo this morning. So Aloha Collection beach bag, which I love. Uh, this little hat, life is good to keep the sun on my face. Land's End rash guard that is so old that the writing is worn off, but it still works beautifully a battery backup battery for my phone because i'll be taking a lot of footage today and i film at 4k 60 frames per second especially when i'm in a, like at the beach because you want to be able to do slow motion so that means my battery runs down really fast so this is important the cable for that my aquaphor and also the sunscreen lip balm my airpods uh reading glasses sunglasses sunscreen and my kindle so there we go. That's everything I need. Oh, and I will 
fill up my, hold please, my water bottle, which I haven't done yet. Adam actually got the um, water package and so uh, we split it. So it, we each got 12 bottles of water. I normally don't find that necessary, but he was doing it anyway. So I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and do it. And we got smart water. So I'm gonna take one of those cold bottles and put it in there. And that's everything I need for a beautiful day at Castaway Key. I slept really good again last night. Not that you asked, <laughs> but I did. Um, in fact, I woke up um, with uh, perimenopause stuff. I tend to wake up a lot during the night and I woke up thinking it was like four in the morning, which is usually when I wake up and, and I stay awake for like 20, 30 minutes and then I go back to sleep. It was six. I was like so happy and amazed. So those of you um, of a big age know sleep becomes a thing. And when you can get a really good, solid, full night sleep like that, mm, 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 it's yummy. So I can take on the world today. Um, I shot some footage as we were coming into Castaway Key this morning. Adam is over on the other side. So his view out of his room will be the, um, the actual, uh, like the, the thing where you go in, you know, the side of the boat where we get off. And um, let me show you my view for the day, which is gorgeous. So pretty. You can see the trams starting to go. That's really fun. And all the fun things. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful day. So, 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 so fortunate to be here. You can keep, we show us no check at Disney Cruise right now, can't you? Oh, while you're on that, check out she sells seashells. That's Carly. She's our friend. Jewel. Easy for you to see. She's from That's the UK. That's where you exclusive Castaway Key merchandise. Now just a few more reminders and then I promise. Reminders. I will stop talking. We have to make this video part. So she, Carly just made her announcement and she gave our very few rules for Castaway Key. There are a few rules. Yes. You have to bring your key to the roll card. Yes. If you are over 18, you're supposed to bring your photo ID. And do not take anything from the island. No seashells, no rocks, no sand, no, sand, no souvenirs. And do not, as opposed to if you were on the steps of St. Paul's, feed the birds. So there you go. <laughs> she was very clear. Don't feed yeah. the birds. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a word that's appropriate for a vlog. Um, because they poop punch everywhere. Punch you in the face. <laughs> nice. So Carly, just so you know, we are going to obey all of the rules because we are rule followers. Yes, ma'am. And um, rule number one of Castaway Key is everything that happens on Castaway Key stays, stays on, on Castaway, Castaway Key. Key. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we have made it to Disney's Castaway Key, a private island in the Bahamas. And you can just hang out and have fun here, or you can do any number of activities. You can snorkel, you can ride a bike, you can sit in a hammock, you can eat food, you can get a drink, you could go on a boat ride if you scheduled an excursion ahead of time. You can you, even run a cabana if you, you can, happen to be a cold member and sailing in concierge because that's the only way you're going to get it. Yeah. <laughs> We're both a little spicy about the... <laughs> I have had a cabana once and what happens I've had is... I've a cabana once as well. But bear in mind, like, <laughs> we're Disney vloggers. We've been here, we've been lucky enough to come multiple times. It's a problem though. <laughs> so um, what are you going to do today, Adam? I am going to do absolutely nothing. Ah, uh, nice! And I'm looking forward to it. Well, actually, we have spoken about maybe renting bikes. Yes. Maybe doing snorkeling. Yes. We have a high chance of a thunderstorm from 11 a.m. Yeah, so if I, I don't like to snorkel if the water's really choppy. So um, I'm not going to, normally what I do is I grab my gear when I'm on my way out to Serenity Bay so uh -huh. that I have it. And then I don't have to, you know, that I could just be ready to go. But if it's thunderstorming, I'm not going to do that. Well, I already so. feel like, like the humidity is like increasing. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's only a matter of time until the rain starts. But so. you know what? I've never had a rainy day on Castaway Key, so, <laughs> so that's kind of fun. I, like, like I said earlier, we're very lucky to come here multiple times. My curse, however, is every time I come, it rains. So it's your fault. It's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I believe, believe you. you. Okay, glass bottom boat canceled. Snorkeling by boat canceled, which is interesting because <laughs> the sign just said they canceled the snorkeling by boat, which means I probably wouldn't enjoy 
snorkeling. Yeah, they're snorkeling. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's going to be calmer over there, but anyway, we are well, one it's of. It's calmer on this side of the island tonight. Today. Yes, I will be getting in the water, so that's exciting. Uh, we're headed back to the ship. Less time on Castaway Key than maybe I normally would have done, but I got to do everything I wanted. Because of the weather, we're gonna head back to the ship to eat um, because there's not really any place to um, sit outside to eat comfortably and all the things. So, going back to the ship yep. and uh, it was still fun though. And we, we made we... it before the downpour starts because it's meant to be a thunderstorm for the rest of the day. Yeah. Unfortunately. So, we've made it really good decision to get out here early. We looked at the weather. Generally, if it's gonna rain here, it rains in the afternoon, just like in Florida. That's just the way it works. And um, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy. I got to float in the ocean, which is was my main objective. We got to see birds and starfish yes, and pelicans. wildlife and met lots of fun people and all the things. So we're, we're castaway key full, as they say. <laughs> Actually, no one says that. <laughs> Would you look at that beautiful thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh with all the jokes. It's good to make someone laugh. Anyway, I know. Hey, <laughs> I'm a party of one. Make it's a, a me party. party. <laughs> Little Muppet reference, if anyone knows that. So we are back. Um, there's storms kind of coming in and out. We probably totally could have stayed, but. We both um, had felt like we like got enough time. Anymore, I'm probably, like when the kids were little, we would go out on Castaway Key, get their first thing, and not come back till they basically kicked us off the island. Anymore, I'm about four hours, and, and I'm good. And I think I've mentioned this before. I don't actually love the cookies or cookies to the barbecue. I prefer to eat on the ship. Um, it's just me being weird. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like right now with the storms. And I just had a really quick wardrobe change because after lunch, I'm gonna go to the rainforest room. So hold on, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Everybody out doing the stuff. The boat going. The banana boat thing was going. People are doing snorkeling, which I totally could have done, but I swam so much in the ocean that I'm okay with what I did. And then everyone's got those um, things that you pedal, which by the way, are more work than they look like. And there you go. So we're gonna go grab some lunch. And it's just a beautiful day with scattered thunderstorms. So we came up to the Festival of Food, and you've got a choice of the Mexican places right there, the pizza place, the barbecue place, which is where I got the sweet potato fries, which are only on request, and they're so, so, so good. And then there's like a salad place. I think those are over on the other, maybe like around the other side, but yeah, really good food out here, and it's got a lot more extended hours than um, Marceline Market. So there you go. Hello, quick change of plans. I was in the rainforest room, it was so good. There was hardly anybody in there. So I did all the things, got in the outdoor hot tub, came back in, was laying on the beds. And someone mentioned that they had a lot of spa openings today. So to check, so I've moved tomorrow's facial to today. So it's right now, so I gotta go. Pro tip on facials, um, this is just a me thing, but I always leave all of my jewelry um, aside for my wedding ring, which I will take off in the room, um, in the, the room in the safe. Um, there's just, you don't need to mess with it. They're gonna make you take it all of it off anyway. Um, so you really just need yourself and your key to the world card. So I'm gonna go do that right now, I'm so excited. This is the same facial that I had done on the Virgin Voyages cruise, if that's what they recommend. Because the way that the spa here does it is they're going to evaluate my skin and then decide what type of facial I should have based on what they find. So I'll let you so know. So I am in my Disney Cruise Line robe. I've had my facial. <laughs> I took a shower, but I was very careful not to mess with my face because they just spent a great deal of time 
putting all this stuff on it. They did an infrared thing. They did a, a thing with these little electro things, all of the stuff. So I'm not gonna put a lot on my face. I'm mostly just gonna do my eyes. I might do a little bit of concealer. You don't care. Anyway, I'm gonna watch Moana while I do that as we get ready to sail away from Castaway Key. So I'll have, I should probably, now that I'm dressed, I could actually open this up. And I put some things out there to dry, but I need to pick them up because typically when we leave Castaway Key, we tend to go pretty fast and my stuff might fly away. So that's a pro tip. <laughs> Don't leave your stuff on the balcony because it might fly away. Are you having a nice blow dry? Oh yes, I love that I don't have to do it. <laughs> By the way, for anyone that says to me all the time that you like my hair straight, if you would like to pay someone to come to my house and spend 45 minutes every day <laughs> doing this, that'd be great. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, the mirror is a frying pan. I cannot, that's so fun. We have an early towel animal because I did my hair appointment and then I came back to change for dinner. And look, oh my gosh, it's so fun. Oh my gosh, very exciting. Okay, you guys, this is the look for tonight. This is, this dress is from a company called Dish. It is in Australia. I adore the dress, but I will warn you, I have already given it a small snag. It catches on everything. Also, you cannot, I was watching Princess and the Frog. You can't, <laughs> this door, you can't hang it up. Uh, you have to like fold it because it will stretch out and it is a linen blend. I think I still adore it, but just be aware and you have to hand wash it. So lots of marks against this dress, but it, I mean, it's still really beautiful. So, you know, I still love it. I'm still gonna wear it. And of course, sorry, I should have shown it to you with the bag because we keep talking about the bag. Let me see if I can very gracefully hold that open <laughs> with my foot and show you the outfit. Not so much really. Uh, Leah, who did my hair, was so amazingly kind and wonderful. And it's all no more salt and sand and all of the things <laughs> that were in my hair. So highly, highly recommend getting your hair done. Um, I think with tip, it was like $150. So it's not cheap, but it's a fun little luxury that you can do on um, a cruise when you don't want to pack all your hair tools and all the things. She also did the deep conditioning treatment on it. So I'm really happy. All right, I'm gonna call Adam and tell him I'm ready. And then we're gonna go get a drink before we have dinner at Palo at 7.30. We're at Palo. I love it here. So, <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. We're going to Palo. Bring it down now. <laughs> we're going to Palo. To Palo. <laughs> we're going to Palo. <laughs> Truly love this bar. We are at the Rose. And look how beautiful the menu is and we're waiting for our pollen reservation. And I just ordered, believe it or not, my very first Negroni, so it's all good. Hi. <laughs> so, yes, we love our snacks. We love a good snack. And we got our drinks, so we're gonna do a little cheersing. Never above you, never below you, always here by yourself. Aww. Cheers. <laughs> That's all I got. Yamas. Yamas. <laughs> Adam pouring over the menu choices. Oh, did you see that lightning? Did you see that? That was crazy. We have a light show out here out the window. He is probably going to make me cut this out of the vlog. But he's actually, he's actually going to show. That is a succession reference. He's going to show the server a clip from his own video of how he likes which dish. Okay, okay, right. I'm just, I'm just going to put it out there. We had this special dish on a previous cruise. Sure, it was sure. the best thing I've ever eaten in here. It's and if fair. I can do it again, I, it's not loading, so I'm just gonna have to try and explain it. But I know it just it was it's life changing. It's, you know what? You you deserve all the best things. Yes, perfect. That's a good year of Pellegrino. <laughs> <with you. laughs> 
So we just had Chef Matteo come over to the table and I told him how amazing the Dover sole was and that it was actually better than the Dover sole that I had on the Disney Dream. I'm sorry, but Chef Matteo was lovely. It's so wonderful to be able to meet someone who puts on such a beautiful meal for you. So thank you, Chef Matteo. It was delicious. <laughs> Go. <gasps> oh my gosh. So pretty. So delicious. Thank you. Yum. There we go. Steam is coming out. Yes. Oh my gosh. I wish everyone could smell this because. Uh, Vanilla sauce. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Gorgeous. Thank you, Fred. No notes. <laughs> Fabulous, fabulous meal at Palo. It was so good. Oh, I think the fireworks are going off. I'm gonna go see if I can see them from the balcony.